So in October 2014, I um, was lucky enough to be able to go on a Japanese woodblock printing course, um, which was three days long, um, with a lady called Jude Lockie. Um, and this was held at Gainsborough's house in Sudbury. And um, from the course, um, Jude gave us uh, pages of notes, which covered things like the cutting tools, uses of barren, different inks, um, which were the watercolour inks, um, types of brushes, paper, the sizing, um, about the, the blocks that we cut on, um, how to print the registration. Um, and, and we went through all the different techniques. Um, and I, I found it a very helpful course. Um, it was one that I introduced me to something that I could really relate to and work with and um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to um, add some more equipment to my um, stock of what I use and I'm 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 definitely coming down to um, relief printing as being my my sort of specialism um, it's it's yeah lino wood and um, collage um, and and I get as much pleasure out of of the the technique of printing as I do out of designing and cutting the block. So I, that's it. Seems to be what suits my um, character. Um, so um, I went to um, Intaglio um, in down in London, which was. Um, what a sweetie shop, a real treat to go there, um, spent far too much money, um, but I've, I've bought the um, aqua um, inks and um, been been using them and um, getting to know them better and also the, it was introduced um, to this nori paste um, in the yellow tubes there which um, is really helpful and again gives you a change in consistency of the ink and Bit more workability with it so um, so I'm getting to know all of those um, and I also found out about Guanga in um, Chinatown and went there and managed to pick up some um, proper Chinese ink from there. Um, I bought myself a set of um, tools um, not not top of the range I couldn't afford those but um, one of the girls on the course was using these and getting on very, really well with them so um, for the moment they, they will they will do me. Um, I bought some um, different types of brushes so these are um, for applying the ink to the plate um, and you, you tend to keep one brush for each colour and then um, these little stiff brushes are for um, once you've done the plate you just brush it off and, and get the ink back so that it's damp but it's um, there's no stray excess fluid on it or anything um, and I also um, chose chose some wood blocks as well um, and I chose those quite carefully as because um, the the grain makes a difference and and I looked for things that um, excited me that I felt at some point that I would be able to use the grain um, with the cutting and um, I've also realised that you you can cut onto both sides of the block. These are sturdy enough to take it, so um, so that that's really helpful as well and um, a bit more economical. Um, and I bought sorry uh, some hosho paper, um, which came from Intaglio, and from Guanga I um, bought a roll of moon paper, um, which I'm also getting to know and is um, is being good to use. Um, one of the techniques I learned on the course again was um, to use a sort of hard crayon so when you start cutting your block um, you can do what is in effect a brass rubbing of it um, to, to see how how it's coming so this was the first one the second one the third one and that was my final print um, and I also made notes in my sketchbook um, as we went through the course well, I made notes on top of Jude's um, things that she gave us um, but it was also useful to write down things in my sketchbook Sorry. as we went 
so just little notes there things things that um helped me on the way and and um things things that are good just to remember and to remind me of um also during that course as well it was it was trying out um different types of barren and i've got another video about those 